very disturbing new details emerge as prosecutors file additional charges against a man found in a Lenexa storage unit with his wife's remains. Justin Ray is now charged with abandonment of a corpse in connection with his wife's death at an Independence Motel. Ray was arrested weeks ago at a Lenexa storage unit where he said he was living with his two young children and his wife's dismembered remains. KCTV 5's Kelly Taylor spoke with Jessica Ray's family about these terrible new developments. Kelly. Brad Ellen, Jessica's sister lives in California and we video chatted earlier and she is desperate for any information to help put Justin Ray's behind bars forever. He needs to be behind bars for life. He doesn't deserve the death penalty. He deserves to be punished and in prison permanently. Justin Ray was already charged with child endangerment and child misconduct in Johnson County, where he's still in jail. Police arrested him in October for sleeping in his U-Haul storage unit with his two-year-old and newborn daughters. Officers say he told them his wife Jessica took her own life after giving birth and he stored her body inside a cooler. Jackson County charged him with abandonment of a corpse, but the victim's sister, Sarah Montero, wants more charges. I was told that they don't have dismemberment charges back there, so abandonment of a corpse, that's what it falls into. But I even asked, how is it, you know, he tried fleeing with her cut up corpse. How is that not a charge? Court documents say Ray dismembered his wife in a hotel room two days after she died, while his toddler and newborn were in the room. Montero says the saddest part is knowing her nieces had to see that. I'm asking anyone that had seen or spoke to my sister prior to her death, of course, and seen any kind of violent or verbal abuse, physical abuse, anything like that, or even if my sister seemed scared. And some of those details released today were too grisly to share. For the full report, head over to our website and you can click on Found It on 5. Live in Kansas City, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News.